in today's somewhat cutthroat economy, proliferation of Amazon and, and you know, it's probably led to everyone's looking at price, right? Not very many people sure. are looking at value. Let's assume you bid a, a job out at $100 a board and someone else bids it at 70 and someone else bids it at 300. Beyond the price- I should have bid 299. <laughs> 299.99, right, right, exactly. I should have bid 299, yeah. Exactly. Besides getting the product back per, per the specification, besides you shipping a board to your customer, what other value added are in that board? In, in other words, you know, you're not just paying to print paste on a board and right. mount a component and run it through an oven at a specified temperature. There's more to it than just the completed product, right? So what yep. are the value adds that customers should consider that are in the price of the assembly? Well, let's say CM in South Deerfield, Massachusetts and CM in North Deerfield, Massachusetts, which I don't even think that town exists, but let's just theor theoretical CM right nearby, similar workforce, similar labor costs, yada, yada, yada. There is a obligation from your supplier to be maximizing their efficiency. If the CM in South Deerfield is charging you $70 and the CM in North Deerfield is charging you $100, there could be very little value add from that $100 CM if they're not focused on lean manufacturing principles, efficiency, intelligent workforce, you know, educating their workforce, uh, and all these sorts of things where they literally can build it for $70 a board versus the other CM has to charge you $100 per board uh, because they are more efficient. And, and it's my opinion that your CM should be focused on these things and should have a culture of driving towards efficiency and, and trying to eliminate waste in everything that they do. So that's kind of not answering your question, but but that's something I like to emphasize because it's something that I consider very valuable and very important in, in our culture at Wordington Assembly. But more importantly, let's say that they're both driving towards efficiency and one CM is $100, the other CM is $70. Where is the value add? Perhaps why, why would you end up spending 30 more dollars per board? Really, I think there's a lot of gotchas in this industry, like not gotchas. What's what's the word I'm looking for? Gremlins. <laughs> that's that's a better way of putting there it. There you go. Like, do are they? You you get the it, just because you look at a finished board in your hand doesn't mean that it's fabricated the same. It doesn't mean that they went through the same process. Right. Did they have the same type of temperature control during reflow? How do you know that their, their ESD standards are being followed and that they didn't damage this thing microscopically? not just microscopically, but like electron microscopically <laughs> damage that. Cause that's what we're talking about with ESD damage. What about, did they have to do any hand soldering? Were those technicians, do they understand what a solder joint really is and, and how to prevent cold solder joints and how to handle ground and to, to preheat the board before they start soldering the ground. So you may not notice these little things like a hole fillet that comes all the way up to the top of your through hole pin underneath the connector because the, the, the shroud of your connector is covering it all. A cheaper CM that builds it for $70, they may just sling that thing over their wave solder or selective soldering machine or hand solder it with you know, the person that they just trained for the past three months. Meanwhile, you've got barely a solder joint that you can only see on the bottom side of the board, not a complete solder joint that won't fail over the life of the product. Right. So there's these little gremlins in manufacturing that a quality CM that's been around for a long time, has been doing this for a long time, has a staff that's been well-trained and has, has been doing the same thing for a long time, knows so that your product won't fail and you won't have all kinds of recalls in the future versus the other guys who are cutting all these corners <laughs> to get it to ship. And yeah, it looks good. You put it on your bench, you're like, hey, these look the same. I'm, I'm only gonna spend $70 on it when you don't really know the gremlins that you might see from ESD damage or cold solder joints you know, a couple years from now. Join us on the second and fourth Tuesday of each month for new episodes of Reliability Matters.